stop taking advice from people who don't understand your personality and don't know your situation. Hey, welcome back. I'm Eva, part-time reseller. I'm so glad if you came. I do videos on reselling, DIY, home decor, a hodgepodge of things really. But today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about if you have a business, if you've been wanting to do a business, if you've been wanting to do any kind of hobby, craft, whatever, and you've been looking for advice. Sometimes the biggest mistake is realizing that when you're looking for advice, the advice is not one size fits all. It's not. They, you can take any advice, you can take any encouragement, you can take anything that someone tells you, and maybe you can use about 80% of it, but there might be 20% of it that's not gonna apply to you because you are not the same person that they are. You have to take the good advice that works for you, your personality, your goals, your plan, and you have to spit out the rest until you're ready for it, and you may never be ready for it. Example, I know for a fact that I could make a lot more money if I was selling on eBay. I used to sell on eBay. I had a store on eBay. I had a store on my Etsy, which I still have a store on Etsy. I also sold on Macari. I didn't like it. I got so tired and overwhelmed with the rules, regulations, and the clientele. I'm sorry, I shop on eBay, I shop on Macari occasionally, but the clientele is so different. The shoppers on those sites are very different than the shoppers on Etsy, in my opinion. Now here's the thing, this is my opinion. So the advice works for me, just like it does what I'm giving you for anybody else. You take what you can use out of this. It's not all gonna be for you. There are some people that love that vibe, they wanna do it. For me, I knew having anxiety and depression, I knew that there were only things that I could handle and there was only a small amount that I could handle with a goal in order for me to get good at it in order to reach my next goal. You can't all go in all at once. So for me, I decided, hey, what's gonna keep me sane? What's working for me? And for me, it was Etsy. I liked the way it worked. I wasn't having any problems on it. I loved my customers. My customers were coming back. I was getting repeat business and I liked the way it worked. I always got my money. Nothing ever went wrong. Now you are going to find a thousand YouTube videos telling you Etsy's horrible because those people do better on a different site. And that's where I'm saying not all information is going to benefit you if it's not for your personality. Take into consideration if you are getting ready to start something new, what kind of person you are. If you're an empath like me, a lot of things are gonna bother you, okay? That's one reason I didn't start a YouTube channel because I knew I can't handle negative comments. I would get negative comments sometimes on Instagram because I was trying to grow my Instagram and I couldn't handle it. It would pretty much wreck me for the day and I realized I had a talk with my husband about it and he said, you know, you just got to grow some thick skin, which is easy for him to say because guess what? He was born with thick skin. Nothing bothers that man. He doesn't care if you like him. He doesn't care what you say, but that's not me. I was born in the South. I'm a people pleaser. I know that doesn't always serve me the way it should. But I like that. I like my personality as far as like the kindness aspect. We need more of that in the world. I want people to smile at me because I smile at them. I want to encourage people because that makes me happy and also it makes you happy. Because I know, I've been out in the world lately. I know you're not getting that. I know you, when you go out today, you're not getting encouragement everywhere you go. You're getting mumbling and grumbling and a lot of people that are in a bad mood. If you are wanting to start something new, it doesn't have to be reselling. It doesn't have to be what I'm doing. If you want to start a business, if you want to start a hobby, if you're looking for advice, all I would tell you is, and like I said, take this for what it's worth for you. Take out the good, spit out the bad is 
look at it and if it feels wrong, if you're like, well, I can't do that. Now I'm not talking about if you have low self-confidence and you're like, well, I just can't do it. What I'm saying is if it sounds right to you, if you're like, well, that sounds good. I don't know if I can implement it. Okay, that's fine. But use it for your personality. Be true to yourself. Don't change who you are because you think it's going to make you successful. Also, keep in mind your goals. My goals at the time, I had a different job and this job. I'm still part-time reseller. It's not my full-time job. I know I have a goal every month of money that I need to make to pay my bills. And that's what I, that is my goal. I would like to make more than that. Who wouldn't? Um, but I know that in order to do that, I have to diversify. I have to be on more platforms and I may have to sell on eBay before. I also in the past have had a booth where I sold in uh, antiques in a booth. And that is something that I'm looking into possibly doing again. But there are pros and cons to all of that. The thing is implement a plan for yourself, implement a goal, and go out and look for that advice. YouTube has a wonderful array of all kinds of things you can type in and people are giving good advice. But like I said, in every good advice video, there might be five things that you can implement. There might be five things that you can't. Don't take it as discouragement. Just say, look, this is what I can do. I know, say, if you're a stay-at-home mom, you have little kids, you're going to do a business. You need to know what you want to interfere with your personal family life and what you don't. Only take on what you can handle right now. The success will come once you get better at your craft, once you get better at doing what you're going to do. Overcome the negative feelings and realize if you're starting a baking business, you're starting something and you know, I'm going to be overwhelmed if I try to sign up for 15 different farmers markets, but everybody's telling me it's the only way I'm going to make money. Guess what? What's your personality? Do you have trouble concentrating? Do you have problems staying on task? Well, recognize that about yourself and then set your goal. Set your one small goal to reach and when you get to that goal set your next goal because only you know what's going to work for you because guess what we are all unique and not all of us are have the same skill set not all of us have the same way of doing businesses but it doesn't mean that there's not room for all of us to succeed because there is that's what makes this world so wonderful and we forget that sometimes we want to hate everybody's differences the differences and being unique is what makes this world cohesive in the end if we just remember to be kind if you can just remember to be kind and also that means be kind to yourself Okay, today I had two orders come in overnight, so I am going to get those ready. I, this set of Lucite. Isn't it pretty? So this is a napkin holder. And you know, I know I pick these up all the time. Not a lot of people use napkin holders anymore, but you know what? The, I feel like these could be used for anything. You could put mail in this. You could put papers in this. You could just use it in your decor with some, um, maybe some cloth napkins. But these do really well. Like Lucite is a really big seller for me. It's very cool, very retro. It's from the 70s, probably 60s, 70s era. And this has dried flowers in it. And dried flowers are also very, very popular. So little seeds and flowers top of my head what this sold for but I'll put it at the bottom of the screen how much this sold for and how much I bought it for the next item that sold are these two glasses very pretty design white rose glasses these are two vintage glasses sometimes people have a bigger set and something breaks sometimes they just need two it's just a family of two and sometimes they're using them for display like I've said in previous videos, we don't question why people buy anything. We just get them the goods. I'm going to wrap these up and get them ready to go out in the mail. I don't have any other orders right now because I finished all the other ones yesterday. And then I am going to do some listings today. I have a few more items that I need to get listed. And um, if there's time, I'm going to stop by the thrift store. Or let me tell you, Goodwill in my area is awful awful absolutely awful i can never find anything in there 
never. And no matter what time I get there, if I get there when the door opens, it is always crowded. So I don't know if my town is full of resellers or just a lot of people that love the thrift. Could, like my mama would say, you was so crowded in there, I couldn't stir them with a stick. Every time there's two items in an order, if they have to be wrapped separately, which I mostly wrap them all separately, I put a thank you sticker on each one. And I also label it, spoon rest, napkin holder. This reselling thing, this is a labor of love for me. I love vintage. I love sharing it with other people. I love shopping for things that people tell me that they like. I actually enjoy it. And that is another key to success for whatever you're gonna do. Pick something you actually enjoy. I didn't get in this for the money. I got into it to make a little extra money, but I got into it to make people happy. I wanted to imagine people opening these treasures of these things that they remember from the past or something that they wanted and getting excited when it comes. Everybody loves getting mail and opening it up and putting it in that special spot or giving it as a gift. I know it's cheesy. That's who I am. I like it. I think it's great. And that is one thing also is that we are lacking in today's society is customer service. And even though I don't see my customer face to face a lot because they're ordering online, I want them to be happy. It means more to me for a five star review and them to explain to me in the review why it made them so happy and also to share with me a picture of where they put that in their home. That means more to me than the cost of the item. It can be a $5 item, but if it made them happy, you know what? My work here is done. Okay. Well, that's about it for today. Hopefully your takeaway from this video will be that not all advice is one size fits all. And you need to think about who you are as a person and be true to yourself before you apply the advice to your situation. Thank you so much for coming by. I would love it if you would subscribe on your way out and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, I feel better now.